In a film like Angel Heart, it's near impossible to absorb every little detail in your first or first five viewings. It's packed full of motifs, themes, and symbols. Some of the details that I list here are trivial, but that doesn't make them less interesting. In this video, I want to share five things that I missed the first time, or maybe the first ten. Number one, that man with the cane. I confess I was a little slow on this one. In the opening credits, we see a man walking through the cruel cityscape and a body lying in the slush. I never gave a second thought that one had something to do with the other. There's death everywhere these days, Johnny. It turns out this was Louis Cipher, and he was responsible for the old woman's death. Should have known better that if you're seen with a cane in this film universe, you have to be the devil. What does this tell us? This has dark significance, as this was the moment Louis Cipher, aka Lucifer, tracked down the whereabouts of Johnny Favorite. The next morning, we see Harry Angel walk to his office, not too far away from where the old woman's body was found. Number 2. Drive-By Baptism This entry is for film nerds and fans of direction and cinematography. This isn't hard to miss. The screaming woman acting like she's being drowned, the overexcited pastor who saved her soul, and the witnesses on the bank of the river with a random range of emotions. What was easy to miss is seeing how close Harry was to this ceremony when he drove over the bridge. The baptism party is seen in the background, and we get less than three seconds to catch it from this angle. What's the big deal? The big deal is the film continues to be consistent, telling the story through Harry's eyes, having everything with an eye or earshot of him. This is an homage to the source material, the novel Falling Angel by William Georgeberg, as it is written in first person. Number 3. The Electric Chair After visiting Toot Sweet and leaving the guitar player literally speechless, Harry Angel takes a dreamlike stroll upstairs into a weird open room complete with pews, stage, and a phantom. Once again, the lady in black sits, faces a stage, and waits for a performance. Her identity taunts Harry again. What I didn't see on television, 27 inches wide, from my VHS copy, is a little accessory sitting on top of a throne. It's an electric chair. What's the hidden meaning? I think this scene never got enough chewing of theories. Why is there an execution hall on the top floor of an apartment building? Is Harry in an apartment building? Was this a premonition of Harry's future and the lady in black is waiting for him to cross to the other side? I continue to believe this is a derivative of religious performances as seen in the Kingdom Mission, complete with a throne in the inner sanctum. But make the chair into an electrical appliance and it becomes something much more sinister. Number 4. Spilled Coffee Detective Stern and Deimos return to Harry's room a second time to ask about the grim murder of Margaret Cruzmark. Stern and Harry have an interview on the balcony outside the door. If you pay attention to the right, you'll see the hotel concierge quietly sneak up and give the detective a cup of coffee. However, Harry seems to find a way to get under Stern's skin, and the detective goes berserk, knocks a cup over, and apologizes for making a mess. What's the inside scoop? This references the source material when Detective Stern and Deimos visit Harry at his apartment. Harry offers the detective coffee, while all along Epiphany poses as a housekeeper and lets herself out. This is where Stern's rather crude suggestion for Epiphany to clean it up comes from. It was another homage to the book, and just as insensitive. Number 5. Harry Cries in the Mirror after Harry experiences his daymares with Epiphany and did something terribly bad in the eyes of God, he does some soul searching into his mirror. Being recently cracked, it's difficult to notice that a tear runs down from Harry's eye. Deep down, he's beginning to understand there is something wrong and something very wrong with him. 
How is this a clue? While there are hints earlier in the film, this is where Johnny Favorite's facade, living a double life, a second life, is beginning to crack. His streak of evil and sin continues a straight path to hell, no matter what name he goes by. Kindly consider leaving a like, share, or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This is Mr. G of Synergy saying, No chair should come with a crown. Thanks for watching. Check out my main channel. You'll find more Angel Heart videos there.